Statistics is sometimes described as the science of data. We gather data, analyze it, make graphical displays, and try to come to some true and useful conclusions. At its core, a set of data is a simple thing. It just contains information about some group of individuals. To analyze and discuss data, it's important to know these two terms, individuals and variables. The individuals are the objects described by a set of data, and although the word individuals kind of suggests people, the individuals could be anything. People, animals, or cars, or trucks, or counties in some state. Then, the measured characteristics of an individual, for example, it could be height, weight, gender, and age, those are the variables. These things vary from individual to individual. Data is typically arranged in a table just like this, where each row corresponds to an individual case. The word case is just a more general term for the word individual. And each of the columns corresponds to one of the measured variables. Looking at this table of data, who are the individuals being measured? and what are the variables being measured for each individual. We can tell from the grade level column that this table contains data about 10 high school students. Often, the leftmost column is going to be a sort of identifier for the individuals in the data, and while it may seem intuitive for the students' names to be the identifier, of course, two distinct students could have the same name, and so in situations like this, some sort of ID is usually created so that each student has a unique identifier. So the individuals are those 10 high school students, and again, each student has their own row. Each row corresponds to an individual who has had some characteristics measured to create this set of data. On the other hand, the variables are what we see in the columns. These are the different characteristics that are measured. These are the ID, the name, the grade level, the GPA, the gender, age, and address. Again, the variables are things that change from individual to individual. Alice Johnson has a GPA of 3.8, whereas Frank Wilson has the much worse GPA of 2.8. It may be worth pointing out that the ID variable here is, in a way, a little bit different from the other variables. All of the other variables are characteristics that are measured for each individual. We have to figure out what's their name, what's their grade level, what's their GPA, and so on. The ID is a variable, it is changing from individual to individual, but rather than being measured, it's really just assigned by whoever the data administrator is in order to help organize the data. Let's do one more example of identifying the individuals and variables in a data set. Let's say our friend Tom records the following data on cars that his co-workers drive. We see that each car gets its own row, and we see the different things being measured in the columns. So take a minute and identify the individuals and the variables that were measured. In this case, while we may be able to say that each of these cars is owned by one of Tom's co-workers, those co-workers are certainly not the individuals in the data. The individuals are the things that are measured. In this case, those are the cars that his co-worker drives. So the individuals are the 11 cars driven by Tom's co-workers. Then, of course, the variables that were measured are all of the columns in the data set. That is the model of each car, the year of each car, color, number of cylinders, gas mileage, weight, and whether or not it has a navigation system. Again, the variables correspond to the columns. Unlike the previous example, this data set doesn't have any unique identifier variable, so it would be possible for two of these rows to be exactly the same if two of Tom's co-workers happened to drive the exact same model and year and color of car. Hopefully, the distinction between individual and variables in a data set is clear now. The variables are the different characteristics which are measured, and whatever units, whether people, cars, or anything, whatever units have those characteristics measured, those are the individuals. Another thing you may notice is that many variables are distinct in a way, too. Like the color, 
feels a little bit different from weight. Weight is something we can very distinctly measure, whereas color, generally, we just kind of have to look and put it in a category. That looks blue, that looks red, and so on. Same thing with navigation system. You just have to look and see, does it have a navigation system or does it not? The weight, since it was actually measured, has units. The units are pounds. Just like gas mileage, since that's something which is measured, it has units, in this case, miles per gallon. These different types of variables play an important part in the way that we'll carry out data analyses, so we'll talk more about that in the next video. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my statistics course and statistics exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Audio.